Hello everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to make these cute fabric covered flower pots. They're so cute to add a pop of color to your house for spring and summertime and also a great and easy gift to give to your mom for Mother's Day. So let's get started. Okay, so all you're going to need for this craft is some fabric and I kind of stuck with a red and turquoise color scheme but whatever it would look best in your home. Some clay flower pots some Mod Podge and a brush, a pencil to measure your flower pot onto the fabric, and some scissors to cut your fabric. So I'm going to show you the easiest way to measure your fabric. It's probably best if you iron your fabric before you start, but it works if you don't, so. So we're just going to lay our fabric out like that and grab your pencil and we're going to start over here at this corner. Okay, so just place your flower pot right at the edge of your fabric, and with your pencil, go about an inch or so up above your flower pot and draw a line. And if you have someone hold this tight for you, then you can just trace around it, but if you're doing it on your own, I found it worked easiest like this. Now just roll your flower pot, then we're going to draw another line and meet that up with your other line that you've drawn. And then just continue to roll your flower pot, going about an inch above, draw a line, and meet up with the other line. And we're just going to wanna to draw one continuous line so that we can just cut that out. Okay, just continue rolling. Okay, and once you have rolled your flower pot all the way back to the front, you can stop and just cut that out. And now we're going to take our Mod Podge and we're going to work in small sections. Also, I'm doing this lower part first and then I'm going to go up and do this top part. Okay, and then start about where you started to measure out your pot and just lay that down. And make sure you place that about an inch below where we cut out just so that you have room to fold that over. And I'm just going to pull that up and press that down. And if you have wrinkles in your fabric like mine, make sure to just pull those down tight. and you just wanna form that to your flower pot, so make sure to push in that crease. Okay. And then just continue doing the same thing around the pot. Just going to pull my fabric over. Okay, and then just cut off any extra fabric that you have. And that's going to overlap a little bit, so I'm just going to add a little bit of Mod Podge onto the fabric. Okay, and then I'm going to cut off the extra fabric down here. So you're going to wanna leave a little bit extra so that you can fold that over and glue that down so that you can't see the pot right through there. And just trim around that in a circle. Pull that up and add your Mod Podge under there. And then fold that over. Okay, so for the top we're going to be gluing this down and we're going to fold this fabric over. And to make it so that it doesn't buckle up, it's good to add little slits in the top so that you can fold those over while you go. So I just took my scissors and about every inch and a half to two inches, I just added a little slit in the fabric, just like that. Just all around the pot. 
And we're just going to do this in small sections as well. So just fold that down and add your Mod Podge. You're going to add your Mod Podge to the side and also to the top and a little bit in there, just like that. And then just fold that over. And smooth that out. And then just make sure all of those bubbles are smoothed out. And you might get a little buckling or a little overlapping, and that's okay. That's not really that noticeable. All right. So let that dry, and then you can either leave it just like this, or you can do an extra coat of Mod Podge that's just going to help protect it. So if you're going to be filling this with fresh flowers or putting it outside, Mod Podge does have an outdoor Mod Podge that would be really great to use. It's just going to help keep it from, from warping or from lifting. So that is a good option if you're going to be doing that. Okay, I'm just going to show you a couple of fun things that you can do with these flower pots if you want to give them as a gift. And I, like I said before, I think this is a great Mother's Day gift. It's really, really easy. And your mom will know that you thought about her enough to make her a little gift. So I just got a cute pair of gloves. A cute little shovel. And some seeds. I think that's really cute for mom for Mother's Day. Also a great neighbor gift if a new neighbor moves into your neighborhood or just something cute to take to your friends. Something else that I think would be really fun to put in here is your mom's favorite treats. So if you want to add a soda and maybe her favorite chocolate. That's great on Mother's Day, right? Every mom should be able to just relax, eat some chocolate, because it doesn't matter because it's Mother's Day. So something that I would love is my favorite treats. And of course, king size. <laughs> so just something simple like that to let your mom know that you are thinking of her. So these are just a couple fun ideas that you can do with these flower pots. I love just putting them around my house. I think that they're really cute just on their own. Also, you can add some of your favorite flowers, so which would also be great for Mother's Day. I hope that you are able to follow along with me and that you can make these. Please let me know if you do. I would love to see pictures on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.